small foot technically is who I am, who we are, and that's humans. And, um, you know, and that's the, the terminology for, for all the Yetis in the film on what they call the mysterious creature, you know, which, are, which is categorized as a human, which we call them, you know, the Yetis call them mysterious creatures and they're small foots. And um, so it's a, it's a pretty uh, un unique name twist uh, to the whole thing. Well, I think what makes uh, Gwangi such a big part of the group and a fun part of the group, first of all, he's larger than life. In, in more than one way. Um, not only his, uh, he's charismatic, he's, he's giving, he's loving, he's funny, but he's just, he's big and fluffy and, 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 and everyone kind of always love and gravitate towards the big and fluffy, you know, giant, the gentle giant. So um, it, it works out perfectly with the, with the group. What would be my favorite part uh, on being a Yeti? Um, and, and it's weird because I, it's like, I, I kind of am, remind myself that I am kind of like one, but my first thing that came to mind was like, I could be just like bigger and towering over everybody. Like never, no fear of anything. I could just see over everybody. I know that I can't be, you know, pretty much, you know, knocked down. No one can ever look over top of me. No one can ever push me around. Uh, you know, they just have this, until you get to know a Yeti, they have this uh, intimidation factor uh, that you don't want to quite to mess with. But until you, you know, you get to know them, you know they're loving and joyful and things of that nature. So to be able to just to tower over everybody would be a pretty good thing. Care gave me a sense of direction. Well, first of all, how we, how do they wanted the movie to be seen and how they want the characters to be played out and, and the emotion, you know, throughout each scene, how the characters, how we wanted the characters to be in, in, um, in that particular uh, scene. So for myself, um, getting a direction from Carrie, it allowed me to kind of get my mindset and get my voices to change or get my emotions to change, depending on the scene, depending on the moment throughout the scene. So, uh, you know, obviously his guidance uh, was key into, you know, making Gwangi come to life. Playing funny is something that, that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, when I, I got three kids of my own, so, and I got friends that we kind of crack and joke with each other and, and laugh and, and, you know, we've been doing it our whole lives. So, uh, I think the one thing that I've learned throughout the course of life is like never take yourself too serious. If you can't laugh at yourself, then you're going to be in trouble. So, you know, for me, I can laugh at myself. If someone makes a joke at me or if I'm see myself as Gwangi, I can laugh at that and be able to get into a fun, joyful, playful, uh, you know, uh, mood. So it, it, was, it was pretty easy to lock into that. Eli is uh, 20, 30 times way better than I could even try to imagine inside the studio. And it was just, uh, it, it's great to be able to work alongside with someone that's so professional and, and so driven at what they do. His ability to change his voice, uh, you know, with his character is, is we, had a lot of, we had a lot of fun, uh, multiple sessions that we had, we had in, uh, in the studio. So in, in different locations, uh, you know, as well, here in Los Angeles, uh, back in Cleveland, uh, we've been in different settings and um, it's always been a, a you know, a joyful, uh, you know, few hours when we get together. I think what makes uh, Smallfoot so unique and, and so um, something that, that kids and parents and everyone's going to be able to gravitate towards, I think it's one simple thing. It's a family movie. It's, it's you know, you, can, you as, a, as an adult can go by yourself and watch it and have a heck of a time. You can also see your kids. You can also go with your kids, and we're all going to enjoy it the same way. And uh, because it has so many different points in it uh, that teaches you not only about um, you know, journey, but, but, but also about life too in the Yeti form, you know, so that creates the, the funny, that creates the joy, that creates the, 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 what is it really something out there that possibly can do this. So you have that notion here and then you also have like the, the human side of these guys, you know, you, you can feel for them, you can feel throughout their journey where they hit a roadblock or you can feel throughout their journey when some people in their own community are kind of like giving up on them or saying you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Um, so it, it, it definitely allows us all to kind of feel for them at times in a good way or a bad way because it is so, it's so humane for all of us and we always have that feeling. We all at some point have that feeling.